Welcome, and for now is a Median E5005 and today I'll show you how to go to the setup process of the device. So once you boot it up you will be presented with the welcome screen which is well, barely visible I think on the camera. But select your language from the list, I'm just gonna stick with English and then tap on the arrow to continue. Then next thing you will see is the insert SIM card. Now you can insert it or not, it's completely up to you, you can do that later on as well. So I'm just gonna skip it for now. Now, if you choose to insert the SIM, you will also need to uh, basically, well, take out the battery to put it in and then turn on the device. And from here, next thing you will see is the uh, Wi-Fi, so you can connect to some kind of network. Now, once you connect to it, you will then be able to also connect to Google, for instance. Now, because this device isn't the fastest on the market, I'm gonna skip it. It's gonna, because if I would connect it, it would start Oh, never mind. I can't even skip it. So in a normal circumstance you would be, but because I performed a hard reset of the device and I didn't actually log out of the Google account, I will need to now confirm it. But a nor new device or well, one that has been logged out won't have that problem. So you will be able just to skip this. And as you can see now, it's looking for or checking for connection. And next thing I think it's going to start looking for updates. So this might take a couple of minutes. Software update. So as you can see, there's the verification. I'm just gonna log into it. Now, like I said, if the device, previous owner, of, let's say the device logged out of it, there won't be a need for this. It will be able just to either set up a new one or completely skip this, this step. Okay, now I'm gonna put in the password. And for me, it's asking me if I want to use this email or this account in this device at the moment. So I'm gonna select no and just use it as a confirmation that this was my device. And um, have another device no. Uh, it's basically a way of uh, for you to back up your device or well, restore it to this one. So I'm just gonna select no thanks and uh, proceed as, as setting up a new device. And now this would be probably what you'd be seeing after you connect to network, which is the Google sign-in. As you can see, if you want to sign in, you can either create one or use one that you already have, or just skip it right here. So I'm gonna skip it. And yep. And here you have name. You can basically name the device. You kind of have like a, a card for yourself and it will also probably add your phone number there. So you can have easy way of accessing like basically the phone and or your personal information if you want to share it or something. I'm just gonna leave that empty and just press next. Uh, set up email, again, another optional. You can set up not now or choose one. So let's just gonna select not now, protect your phone. Here you can set up your kind of protection. So pin, pattern, password, whatever you like. Uh, there is no fingerprint, so only those three. Or you can also uncheck it like so and then press on skip if you like that. And it will give you a warning and uh, skip anyway. Then Google services. So you, you scroll through them, disable or enable whatever you like here and tap on next. And we're basically now in the home screen. So I can actually make the display brighter. And the setup process is finished now. So that is how you would set up your device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.